learning under the anointing. And we talked about heaven being opened is the anointing. But now it's learning under that anointing. We read from John chapter 15 and verse 5. Then Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. <coughs> we talked about this a little bit yesterday. But these two verses support this whole school. Without me, you can do nothing. But I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. And as I abide in that vine in Christ, then I have all the power to do whatever God wants me to do. As I abide in Christ, I'll know exactly where God wants me to be. Most people try to fight the devil. But we were called to abide in Christ. He, he will fight the devil. You know, in the Old Testament, Joshua fought against the Amalekites. He's down there fighting. And up on the mountain, there's three men. One of them's praying. And the scripture does not say that Joshua grew tired. It says that Moses' hands grew tired. Those three men on that mountain, they knew what the answer to that whole warfare was. And they were all over 80 years of age. And as you stay in that place of prayer, then God can do what only, what only God can do. The school of Christ is the place where Christ is the lesson. And the Holy Spirit is the teacher. If you have the Holy Spirit in you, then you have everything there is necessary to learn. If you've never been filled with the Holy Ghost, then it's God's will that you be filled in this school. And if you have been filled, God wants to fill you again. You know, the Greek language literally says to continue being filled. When Jesus called the disciples, He didn't just sit them down and teach them a bunch of things. He did teach them but they walked with him. They were there with him in the garden. They, they saw him pray. They saw the miracles. So they weren't just being taught. 
a ko do ta le a ple bo malo ne te me te pa so lo de so le ta malo a de bu ba they were being shown a wo de pa ne ti ba wo da malo ta le ta le a ma sa now i have two little children at home le hi ne u do ye po chiki ga now when they learned how to walk no pe bo te pa malo ha so so ka ne i i did not sit down in a chair sa de chi no le a lo chi no lo i didn't sit in the chair and instruct them no sa chi no ro sa so lo ma di le di ni ka don ko di ni sa te ma di ni ba i didn't understand that a we si na te ba i can't sit there and say now stand up no sa chi no pe ni sa mi to ge cha de balance yourself no di ton sit lo ki ni ma di and put that one foot there in front of the other no ko ani pa ni ka ro chi pa That's not how it works. Akuro le awasi ke le da da ka ha ka se ni tuma sa di ni ba. They learn to walk that way. Awasi pa ni tuma lu ha lu kle di ni ba. Sometimes they had to come and hold their hands. Na tuma lu ni na ko ba he da po ka chi. And show them how to walk. Na na ko ba te o ba le da ba ha di di di. And Christ is with us in this life. Na ka sa i shukri awa u do pa le ba ta mu a pu i ni. He doesn't just say here's the rule book. Awa te da ke ni ke ta ble le na ko ba kwa o. Now you keep all these rules. Ma twe o ke le. No, he says, I come to live in you. Me, did you never? Because I should tell you, I have the head, I have the pu. I am the word. You may have to learn to carry. I have all the rules in me. You are not a block. Come and learn to pu. And I'm in your heart. No, you can't. You learn to stop pulling. When you look at the Pharisees. I go to make one of the Pharisees. Come on. When Jesus came. Because I should tell you, I have the head. They were walking around. I want to find the letter. Let me, let me. They had studied the scriptures. I want to find the malo. You have to learn to do it. They had little boxes on their foreheads. No, I want to find me to go when you order to do it. You put your your car on the floor. The scripture. Scriptures were written in there. Don't let a penny name back when all the church came and placed it back. They still have that in Jerusalem today. Don't let Jerusalem and the men like one in the theory that's the penny. They have big scrolls. Don't let a penny name or a word a little bit like what two two words are there. Oh, pad or pad. And there's the word written. Don't let a penny name or a word a little bit like what two two words are there. Oh, pad or pad. And there's the word written. They had scriptures sewn into their garments. Don't let a penny name or a word a little bit like what two two words are there. Oh, pad or pad. But it was all on the outside. But you're not coming to any other talk, Lord. And they hated God. No, what the Panessa hate that you are not. When Jesus came, they hated him. Because Jesus Christ, you are going to hate that you are not. Because it was never a part of their heart. But when you go to the Lord, what the pastor who was walking with them, he had made a lot of kibuba. But the Old Testament prophet said, "But I get all willer, let's just get along, leave with the Panessa. They were ready. A new spirit would be put into us. They were ready. Sa." I saw the hell on the sepulchre, and that law would be written on the heart. Do ta so ta so ne, ka ba ta kwe lo le si sa pu. I'm not learning by myself. I could not. Do me lo ye ma lo lo ye no ka cha da ye ba. Christ is in me. Ka sa ishukri o lo ye pu. The Holy Ghost is teaching me. Do sa so ishukri a wa da so lo ya. What could be better than that? Me me di ne do ta le a ka ye do ne a ine ko dia. He's got me there by the hand. No, I wanna. Oh, look at the part of poor guy you do. He is taking care of me. No, I wanna go out where you don't move. Sometimes I feel all alone. The blah blah blah. Boy, boy, how come you move? But he's not left me. I wanna go out there. Boy, boy, how come you move? I wanna go out there. But he's not left me. He's just teaching me to walk. I wanna go out there. Boy, boy, how come you move? I wanna go out there. But he's not left me. I wanna go out there. So we know what the meaning of the anointing is. I wanna go out there. But he's not left me. I wanna go out there. The meaning of that anointing is the Holy Spirit taking His place as Lord in that life. I could not put that in a common name with a less a such thing. I want to he need get up and get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. The Scripture says no man calls Jesus Lord except by the Spirit. The Scripture says no man calls Jesus Lord except by the Spirit. The Scripture says no man calls Jesus Lord except by the Spirit. The Scripture says no man calls Jesus Lord except by the Spirit. The Scripture says no man calls Jesus Lord except by the Spirit. The Scripture says no man calls Jesus Lord except by the Spirit. The Scripture says no man calls Jesus Lord except by the But he is not their Lord. But I get on. 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 Is by the Holy Spirit taking up His place in my life. Sa soski awada hini tapo tapra loyetau mupu. You know I pray. 
And I say, Holy Spirit, sit on the throne of my will. Govern my life. Tell me where to walk. Tell me where you want me to go. Tell me what you want me to say. I'm learning under the anointing. And that's, that's how you learn under the anointing. When, when Jesus was baptized in the Jordan, he was saying, I refuse to obey myself in anything. I will only do what the Father says. I will only go where he tells me to go. I will only say what he wants me to say. And what happened? When he came up out of the water, the Holy Spirit come upon him to make it possible. The Son of God is in the waters. The Father is in heaven. The Holy Spirit is there keeping it all together. There's the union of that Trinity. We are to be born again. Christ living in us. The Father's in heaven. The Holy Spirit is to fill us. And keep that in union. Then we can learn under that anointing. Jesus was totally governed by the Father. We sing a lot of songs about Jesus being Lord. Sometimes singing those songs, I'll stop. And I'll ask God, is Jesus really my Lord? Does he really rule in my life? Or am I just doing what I want to do? I don't want to be a liar. I don't want to say that he's my Lord and not live up to that. The only way that we will ever be effective in this Christian life <coughs> is Jesus must be absolute Lord. And for that to happen, the Holy Spirit must take up residence in us. If we're going to get to the place that God wants us to, if we're going to move on to that place where God desires all of us to be, <coughs> it's only going to come as we become subject to Christ. And that is only by the Holy Spirit. That means everything in my life. Family, friends, church, ministry, the desires of my, my own life, in all of that, Christ must be preeminent. Jesus must be above all of those things. Amen. Amen. When my son was born, God spoke to me. He said, you can get a job and earn money. You can, you can provide food for him. But there are things you're going to have to trust me for. I'm thousands of miles away from that boy right now. But I have to trust God. 
he'll take care of everything in that house. God told me he will. God, God told me if you'll go, I'll take care of that home. God said to me, I'll be everything that family needs if you'll do my will. And God's been faithful to me. And God desires to be everything to you and your family. Christ must be Lord in our life. The problem with man is we never really want to surrender that Lordship. We don't want to give our life over to another. The Holy Spirit comes into our life to make Jesus Lord. To manifest Christ. And if he can't come to do that, then he doesn't want to come into your life. He doesn't come just give you power. He doesn't want to just give you an emotional experience. Those things come with the Holy Spirit. But, but that's not why he comes. He come to reveal Christ. He come to make Christ Lord. Tongues, the gifts of the Spirit, the power, the anointing, all of that comes with him. That's not why he comes, but it, it comes right along with him. He come to manifest Christ. He come to lead us into all truth. He didn't come to speak of himself, but to speak of Christ. This is the reason why we pass through the wilderness journey. We have to pass through difficulties in life. Because many times we think that we're giving everything to God. But only in the fiery trials of life do we really see the truth. I've had God show me at times that you're really not letting Jesus run that life. I repent. And I put that aside. And I keep going on with God. God doesn't reveal that to destroy me. He's just keeping Christ in his place as Lord. Now, whenever God reveals something in that life, the devil always comes. Says, You're not saved. Uh, look at that was there in your life. He's done that to me. Before you were saved, the, nev the devil never told you that you were lost. But the moment you get saved, he, he, starts, he starts telling you you're not saved. And when, you, when God fills you with the Holy Ghost, he'll come and tell you you're not filled. He's never told anything but lies. And when God's working in my life, and he reveals something, the devil will come and tell me, oh, look at that. You, you, you're not saved. You, you, you should just quit the ministry. I just ignore him. 
อย่าบาชอบลงไปมือกอลีตะตูลอตากตู I know that that's proof that God is in my life ยสิญาเออแค่เนี่ยว่าดาปลียาคนเนี่ยว่าดาเฮเลปจอยาลี่แค่เนี่ยมุกอลีเนี่ยเอาไว้มาดากจายวามาดาลุยเตามูมุกอลีเฮเลปจอยเว I had a girl come to me one time ตำรวจเนี่ยก็ปมมือกันให้ช่วยอยู่ She said I am jealous towards another sister เอาไว้เตาดาดับเวมือกันเนี่ยแค่เนี่ยยาสาเฮียยาสาเก่า She said I hate that ยาสาเก่าดับเวมือกันด้วย I I don't want that in my life แต่ดีขันเนี่ยสาเฮียขันเนี่ยจะเอโดอุลิพีบามันนักเกี่ยวยาสาเฮียเนี่ยบามันดีเลย She said Am I unsaved อย่าสาเหตุอะไรที่เราจะปูใจมีเย็นนี้บ้างแต่ก็เกลียดจะปูเพลียอะ I said sister a few years ago you were unsaved นอย่าเจ้าดับเบิลเหมือนแล้วปูกวีจานนี่เนี่ยนี่จะแก้บาคริปโอดีบ้างนี่จะนี่บ้างแต่ก็เกลียดบ้าง You were jealous against a lot of people แล้วเนี่ยนี่นาสาเหตุสาเก้าการาเนี่ยดีอีดี But you didn't care you thought you had a right to be เพื่อนเนี่ยนี่นี่จะเสียงยาเลยเนี่ยแต่สาเก้าใครอีกมาโนมีบ้าง But now บัชนาเกิดโอเคเนี่ย Now it bothers you นักสักการเราปัญญาตระหับพวกเราเนี่ยนักสานี่สุขโคนาลีนักสัตว์มือเลยบ้าง The fact that you don't want that there เออแต่เลือดแต่สักการใครเนี่ยเด็กเอโดอาอูเลนปูบ้านเนี่ย Tells me there's another life in you เดือดที่ยาเลือดตาหมูดใครเนี่ยเห็นเนี่ยเราเปิดตาเลนปูลีอ๋อ This is God's working in our life แต่ใครเนี่ยเมกใจยัวตาเป็นนอเลือดพลาดเลือดมาตาเลือดปู When God strengthens you and I เพื่อกระจายยามาชูทนนารยาคานิ He does that to serve others เอาเวมาเวตาเรลนักเลมาบลมาพูบกาก็ล่ะ God doesn't give me victory over things in my life to condemn others เลยจะเอาบุบเลยยันเนบัตตามันเนมันเนนิถ้าไม่เลยจะก็บาลเลดอเลดอสิญญาบาคาเลดอกวาดลอบาคา There was a preacher going through a struggle in his life เลิบเวลาเตะกระจายยาก็ลืมท่าเอาวสิปาตาเลคอบลูแล้วตากตาเค He said, "God, why won't you strengthen me?" Do I want to tell that? Because I want, because I want to be a man who can take his shoulder and give it to the Lord. God said to him, "Because I want to be a man who can take his shoulder and give it to the Lord." He said, "Everywhere that you're strong." He said, "You beat up the Christians." No, no, me give shoulder. No, let on a tap or a clip or a chin or a hot rub or no bad thing on it. But everywhere you're weak. But you're like that. No, we make that blow la la. You talk about the grace of God. No, get tap or a rock. Get your shoulder. ตาบลูตาผู้กระจายวาตาตาควี He said if I strengthen you ยังไม่มาชูนาหนึ่งชูทบบุนี่ You'll use it against the people ในหินนอสิตอนั้นเล่นเล่ว่าปลุกกูตาขี้ในเล่ทอดดาวด้วย So God only strengthens us พวกเรากระจายวาเนี่ยอาจจะมาชูกันเลย To help others เพราะก็เอาไว้เราไม่มาชูกันนี่แต่ไม่เล่าไปเลยมาเจ้ากันบ้าง There's nothing more sickening to the heart of God than a prideful preacher อ่ะคนออกกันละแก่ตราฮอตราตาละปากเพลสะดวฮัจีโนฮัตเตชาวันยอกันนี่ None of us are anything without Christ. No, but we're still part of it. We're part of the church. We're part of the church. Who cares how smart somebody is? Who cares what Bible school they went to? 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 ยังเลี้ยงอุตุโกวได้ยุสโกร์กันเยุสโกร์กันเนี่ยโคดุมะ and his country was in a war ด่าว่าเทียกอนเนี่ยอุตุตันดุตายา and he had a situation similar to what you have ด่าว่าอุตุอัตันเลคอปโลลามาซานิลอกันเดี๋ยวพวกเขาเนี่ยจิกอล his people were pushed away from their land ด่าว่าพวกเขาเลยเนี่ยบัตากวาดล้อบัตาชอบโลกวิโอ they come to his village to kill him ด่าว่าเฮลาดูตัวเนี่ยพวกเขากวาดล้อกันมาซีโอ they bunch of the men came off the bus to kill him ดอกพระอาเดียกันละแกปกควาเลนิดปานเฮดดอกมาซีกุปัสวะพุ He said I just fell on my knees ดอกพระตรัสกันเตวดาสักคลีลอสักคอ Right in front of him เลิบปากลานี่ไม่เนี่ย He said I just lifted my hands to God ดอกซาจูดอกซาจีชูกิจายาว And he said they got back on that bus ดอกพระปกควาตรัสละอากันเลมาซีจานิเกคุกิกิ They ran away เกคุกิกิลอดเลย I was there at his house เยเลติเลอเอาวัดปาฮี I was sitting there in his room. No, t h a e l t h a e a w a c h i n a l e b I brought a book to give him. y e h j o a l i t b i l i k i l And I looked on his bookshelf. No, y e a l e a w a p a l i a l o n And there he had two books. No, w a u d o l i k i b i The Bible. l i c h o s k i b i And the School of Christ book. No, k r i a j o a l i l o That's all he had in his library. a k u d o l e a w a l i a t e u n e t a t e a t u n o m i u t e l i k i b i l o l i c h o s k i d a l i k r i a j o l i I'm about to give him his third book. No, no, honey, you go buy here a list. Third book, you create your list. And then I thought about my house. No, you choke more or less, you
And God spoke to me immediately. He said, "You think that man simple?" Because you see three books. You think he's simple. Because he doesn't know that much. He said, "Son, what if he only knows ten things?" He is obeying all ten of those things. He said, "You know a hundred things." He said, "How much of that do you obey?" And I start thinking, maybe sixty. He's obedient, and I'm not. That's why he's pastoring nineteen churches. That's why God delivered him. He may not have had a lot of knowledge. But everything he had, he obeyed. And with everything God gave him, he used it for the profit of God's kingdom. When we look at Jesus and the disciples, we see there's a great difference between them. There was a conflict between their judgments. There, there is between you and I. Sometimes a Christian will fall in sin. And other Christians want to just remove them. Some other Christians want to put them in hell. But you know, when you look at the disciples in Jesus, Samaria rejected them. And John says, "Call down fire on those people." They didn't think the same way. Jesus says, "You don't know what spirit you're of." They lived in a different world. The disciples wanted Jesus to set up an earthly kingdom. They wanted Jesus to conquer Rome and take over the throne. Jesus said, "My kingdom's not of this world." They had a total different mind. They argued over who would be first. Who's going to sit next to Jesus? All of that's just carnality. And we do the same thing. Every one of us, when we read about the disciples, we're like one of them. You're either like John or Thomas. You're like Matthew. You might be like Paul. There's something about all of us. It's like one of them. They looked at things that, that were they, to them some things were valuable that were not valuable to Jesus. On the judgment day, we will know what is truly valuable to God. <laughs> So the Holy Spirit working in our life is going to show us these differences. You know, I've had God show me how to love someone that I couldn't love. I tried to love them in my natural self. There is no reason for this natural self to love that person. But Christ in me loves them beyond measure. And his self is crucified. 
Then it's not my attempts to love. But it's the love of Jesus flowing It's impossible to love some people. But you're not to try to love with that flesh. It's Christ's love flowing through. You ask him to give you that love, he'll give it to you. That flesh must be crucified. Jesus had to pray. He was a man of prayer. And the anointing continued to flow in his life. And you and I must be men and women of prayer. There are always things working against that mind. There's many, many voices. If you walk in the Spirit, and you have a life of prayer, then out of all those voices, you will know which one's God. You'll know which one to follow. My sheep know my voice. His sheep pray. His sheep walk in the Spirit. The Spirit is working in our life. He's not improving my life. He is replacing my life. I am not being changed. I'm being exchanged. When I come here, I had American money. I didn't change that money. When I, when I gave them American money, they didn't change it by writing the Thai language on it. Not at all. Because that would be fake money. I couldn't use that money here. I exchanged my money for Thai money. And I have real Thai money. And Jesus is not just trying to make us better. That, that would just be an imitation, a counterfeit. But the Holy Spirit is really trying to reproduce Christ in our life. He's not just trying to dress me better and make me look nicer. My life is being exchanged for another. And your life is being exchanged for another. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the answer. An exchange life. You'll never improve the self life. You, you can teach it religion. It can learn scriptures and theology. It won't move it a millimeter closer to Christ. Exchange that life. It's the only way. Let's stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.